obsessed with saying, and she, she was, was a, a fairy. fairy. <laughs> is that a song? No, it's a TikTok. Like, I think yeah, it's a TikTok. Is it just somebody just like made the sound? Yeah, I can't, if that's in a song, the song should probably not be out. I know. <laughs> she was a fairy. <laughs> it's like EDM. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We're doing a beer. <laughs> oh, sorry, we <laughs> We're starting How Does It Feel? This is the book that I talked about in my last video where it's like SJM meets Ali Hazelwood. Do we need like cozy cafe spooky jazz? We do. Is it dark academia? Like what kind of music mm. thing do we want? Look up tavern music, like tavern bar music. <laughs> Real. One of us is a psychopath, Wait, the other is not. <laughs> I'm in dark mode. She's trying to blind herself. Yeah, I literally am. What? I walked in here last night and I saw your face like illuminated. <laughs> You're gonna go blind. <laughs> Look at the difference. How much nice that feels on the eyes. I, <laughs> but some people, I used to always read on light and I like the dark now. Hear me out. What? I didn't know dark mode was a thing. Dark mode. You didn't know that? I don't think my eyes can convert to this. I've been used to being blind for so long. Hey, this is why I sent to your blanket. <laughs> this like, is isn't it cute? Am I truly round? You need to see it closer. <laughs> Hair Grammy. I really like, can't see for <laughs> <laughs> When you came in there last night, there was a race. No, and your face was like, I was like, is she up? Oh no, she's still up. I can see her from the the backyard. After further research, aka Heather telling me, it seems <laughs> aka the facts may not be straight. We don't know if the facts are straight, but it is people say it's like Allie Hazelwood, which she writes a lot of what is her genre? Like science women in STEM. Five. Women oh. in STEM. Women in STEM. Women in STEM. Meets SJM. Basically there is this girl who's a scientist and she had an experiment goes wrong or something and she ends up like trans this could be so wrong. She ends up like transporting herself in the presence of the Fey Prince or something. Yeah. And he thinks she's an assassin. And she's like, I'm a scientist. The damp floor of the dungeon made it hard to keep the tiny cuts of cheese on her mini charcuterie. <laughs> is she a rat? <laughs> Is this a Cinderella, are you telling me? I suppose it was Elizabeth. Okay, we're reading now, by the way. We just literally <laughs> don't okay. <laughs> okay, starting now. Return to my mini shark you read for. I don't think I've gone there. <laughs> yes, you have. Oh, you're <laughs> right, right there. <laughs> oh, I just ruined the whole plot for you. <laughs> She's dead. Oh, you're not there yet? Okay. <laughs> have you gotten to the rat? Grungy brown rat that went into her lap. He looks bigger today. The rat whispered. Is that crazy to think the rat has gained muscle? Yeah, no, yeah, you are crazy for that because he's been hitting the gym seven days a week. Why am I like for like, like a like, bodybuilder like rat, like in like little tiny swim jump? What if the rat had the hypothetical here? What if the rat saves her? His <laughs> strong muscles. He was did for himself. <laughs> I'm confused. So she's in a prison with some Weird kind of monster, tree, tree monster. And rat. And her bestie that's a rat. And they think she's an assassin. Yes, but she's and not. No. We do know that. I don't obviously understand everything that's going on, yeah. but I can picture it already. Yeah. Like I feel like I can like, yeah. I'll be able to figure out the world. It's fantasy, it's but it's not like, it's not like really. Like deep and heavy. Even when you said, I was like, what is the monster? And you told me, and then I was like, okay, wait, I know. Ooh, she got an old truck. I don't know if you know this, but like girls who drive trucks are like really cool. Yeah, that's so true. So cool. The next clip is us in the car. <laughs> She's kind of funny. She is kind of funny. I, I kind of like, like her. I like it from her point of view. Yeah, I think she's like sassy. She's like, yeah, that's what I was about to say. She's no bullshit sassy, long blonde hair, drives a truck. She's kind of a bad ass. I kind of like her.
there's been a few phrases in the book so far where I'm like, like she says things, she doesn't cuss. Well, now she cusses. Yeah. But at first she didn't cuss and she was like, oh, tuna fish. And we're both staring at each other. Yeah, like she decided she was gonna, she, the book open, I think one of the first lines was literally, and then all of a sudden she decides, okay, she's not gonna curse anymore and it jumps back in time. And then so she's on her not cursing kick and then she's literally saying like tuna tar. Her not cussing for a while was like not weird. And then she started saying things like dang flab at like 12 times in a row. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, she kept saying Shucks. like, oh poop. Like just like, yeah. So there's definitely been, it's really easy writing and there's been just a couple little things that are like cringy. But uh, nothing that's like unbearable. No, cringy. it's building the plot. It's a little bit slow, so we're gonna like be nitpicking because there's not a lot going on. You yeah, know I mean? we are 26% into the book, and I do feel like it's been a very slow buildup to the point of where like it did make me fall like nearly fall asleep last night. This girl rode a tractor or a lawnmower as vehicle transportation, and that should be a reason to DNF. But it's no, no, actually no, no, not. No, 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 no. She rode a lawnmower John Deere tractor, tractor in a dress that her hole was falling out of <laughs> and her nipples and high heels and a beat face <laughs> like a full face of makeup she had smoky eyes yeah because she left her microscope in the the wood so she went in the middle of the night so that's been those are just the things that we've been nitpicky on but it's just slow so we're being nitpicky and obviously like we're reading together so we can like be a little bit more you know the book has its quirks yeah can you overlook it absolutely yeah the tension's, tension's coming we it's like still don't know this guy's name no we don't at he's all a fairy. he's a fairy he was a fairy what he's six foot five six five <laughs> mean oh, he's mean this is enemies he was clearly an experienced assassin skilled but no match for me blade he says me blade why is this making me blush a little bit have you got, are they interacting yet yeah he's like act now ask questions never not even ask questions later no taylor and i are both now 50 percent through how does it feel and i honestly think that if we weren't doing a buddy read with this book, I would have DNF'd it by now. I'm predicting it to be about a three star, three and a half star book. It's just that there's so many books on my TBR that I know I will 100% enjoy. So I would have probably DNF'd it by now. It's fine, it's whatever. When I say this is enemies to lovers, this book is enemies to lovers. And I've mentioned before, I like enemies to lovers. I don't love enemies to lovers. I like dislike to lovers, but like this is straight up like, he's trying to kill her. And like, that's all cool and dandy, um, but so far he has no heart at all he is straight up a heartless man and i'm scared of him is giving some i guess some emotion where it's like finally from his pov and he's finally being like why do i feel like a little bit towards her but it's not enough there's some magic in her no one can smell magic in her but there's something about it that's just different she's small dainty beautiful girl who like is destined for greatness and she's like i'm a nobody i'm a human are you? Well, ready? But she already started. She's already on him. Chapter 19. Bum, bum, bum. I'm passing his, the, her leash to someone else. Watch her while I go inside and get my coffee. T he ties her to like a, a bench. <laughs> Literally, can you walk? Sit. Her? Can you sit and wait? <laughs> Be a good girl. If I was her, I would seduce his at dumb Yeah, I know. Like, she needs to start putting it in second gear. I know. Literally, just flip it. Just you can't. You've tried everything, so you might as well just you try know. to seduce him and then stab him in the heart. Literally, and by that point, he's hooked. And exactly. That's the biggest betrayal. But honestly, he deserves it. If I was taken, like I don't know what the right thing to do would be, but I would try to become his like pal and be like, no, this world is so like. Should should can I help you? That's like the TikTok where it's like when me and my me best, best to get taken, but we're like enemies to yeah. lovers. <laughs> we both get taken. You go, he's kind of hot for you. <laughs> You're like, hey, let's get off my finger. I'm, I'm very British. <laughs> Just like, we're a package deal, so uh, you can't kill me. You're like, Heather, he's over six foot, Heather. 
I'm like, he's all yours, baby. I'm texting my husband. Hey, we just met Heather's husband, but we also got taken. But also, he's in a mask, so like, he has green eyes and could be cute, question mark. I genuinely feel like there's no hope for a love story. I keep thinking it can't get any worse, and then it gets worse. I've recently decided I don't like others touching my things, touching what's mine. He killed people who touched her. That is kind of hot. He low-key falling. <laughs> I think he's in love. <laughs> the next sentence, he grabbed my leash. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Back to the story. He grabbed my leash and guided me to the side of the ramp. I still don't like him. Yeah. Like, normally that would be the sentence that would like instantly turn me. Yeah. I, still I think feel... because he hasn't showed any amount of compassion. Yeah, once. there's been absolutely no compassion. They have not had one moment where he's nice. And we've had from his POV, and he's like thought things about her. I was yeah. that earlier when I was giving like the 50% debrief and everything, where he's like thought these things, he's like, why do I kind of feel this way about her? But then he never does anything but to like see. No compassion. Yeah. Aww. He has tried to kill her six times. However, he did just give her his bedding. His blankie. His blankie. So he might die tomorrow, but here's the blankie. So him saying good girl and giving her his blankie, um, it's counteracting at least three of those kills. Potential kills. Watch us like find out about his trauma and we're like, dude, it wasn't that deep. <laughs> and we're like, we're like, girlfriend, oh, we can kill anybody. His girlfriend cheated on him in third grade. <laughs> he has her molar as a necklace. <laughs> no, he doesn't. A chill came over my body as I ran my fingers over the small tooth that hung from my neck. The molar was hers. She had spit it at me in all her fury magnificence in the blood room. I had pocketed it without thinking. Then later, arguably still not thinking, I had made it into a souvenir to wear. A memento from this enchantress to remember long after she was dead. He is so emotionally unintelligent. <laughs> we have 10% left of the book. It can either be mediocre or ass. No in between for me. very much giving touch her and you die energy. Mm -hmm. So if you like that, you have to read it. <laughs> what the f No, like genuinely, what, what is that? Read that right there, for the next two sentences. Right? Why do I want a DNF right now when there's 12 minutes left? <laughs> I felt like if we had a little bit more of a connection with the characters, then we would have appreciated the twist more. But I just don't feel connected. Like, I just, I feel very detached. Like, I felt like at the, at 93%, I could have DNF this book and been okay. The, and I can see how people love that twist. Because the people who've recommended the book have been like, the twist at the end is crazy and they yeah. love it so much. So I can see how people really like it. The but twist just, felt like too much to me. I the, don't know. The the twist changed everything. It wasn't yeah. just like, oh, you thought one thing was gonna happen. I'm gonna give it two and a half stars. Okay. 2.75, that's my final rating. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm sad I didn't like it that much, but that's okay. I can see how people really enjoy it. But also, I wouldn't say I'm a big fantasy girl. Like, I do read fantasy. Yeah. And this one was, like, the fairy aspect. Like, there was the fairy aspect and, like, kind of, like, beasts. Than monsters, but other than that, it was very like little fantasy. Yeah. Besides, like the fairy. Like world. I did feel like we could have been reading about humans, but yeah, it had real life and fairy, so it wasn't like anything too crazy, which I did appreciate. Two and a half. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's you just ending it. Yeah.